Hi, it's G from Native Speakers Academy, and today I'd like to leave you with a thought about habits and addictions. No. Our habits are far more important than we think they are. Our habits in our daily lives, these are what build our weekly habits, our monthly habits, our yearly habits. They, they construct our life. They construct who we are, what we do, and what we are, what we are to become. Today is already tomorrow. Today is already tomorrow because what you do. today is so important, it's so immediate, it's so urgent, because the force of time is unstoppable, for whom the bell tolls, time just marches on. And we have to be ready to move with it and go with the flow to catch the wave to spend a large part of our life in the mainstream, to be in the current, the present, and to formulate a positive life and a good life and a long life we need to build habits and the more powerful form of habits which which are addictions into our daily life so addictions are not necessarily bad we have this automatic response to the concept of addictions but addictions can be positive or negative an addiction is just something that we like or we really enjoy and we repeat it even more than a habit and we need to be aware of our addictions be aware of the well, food is a classic example of this. Be aware of the, uh, the salt in the food, the sugar in the food. These are classic examples of addiction. Or the, the other classical addiction, such as alcohol, which is, in essence, a search for comfort. A want to escape the present, to escape the important moment, to not have to make those important choices in our daily lives. And so we need to build good habits. That's all there are, good habits and bad habits. Build the good habits, work on the good habits, feed the good habits, and grow as a person. Now, if you've got some negative habits in your life, some negative addictions, one thing that most people don't fully understand is that you cannot remove habits and you cannot remove addictions from your life. Because most addictions that we have are 
a result of deep human desires and needs that go way back into the well of subconscious experiences that is our childhood. Now most negative addictions are symbolic of the fact that love and the comfort and peace that grows out of a loving environment just didn't exist for this person when they needed it. And we can't go back in time, we can't go back into our childhood the same way we can't go back to yesterday and have our lunch again or our breakfast again. We can't go back and rebuild and re-nourish ourselves physically and psychologically. And our addictions are covers for the missing fundamental elements of love that were not there for us in our childhood. Even if we think they were there, what we think and what is are often two different things. And negative addictions are highly symbolic of the fact we didn't get what we need when we most needed it. So, you cannot remove addictions from your life experience, but you can transfer them from negative addictions to positive addictions. You have to replace them, not try to remove them, and that's why most people fail. When people try to go on a diet, 98% of people fail in the long term. When people want to stop smoking, most people fail because they're not trying to replace the negative addiction with a positive addiction. And that's how we grow. We can't remove the addictions completely. We have to build the habits of our life from positive, smaller elements. That's the compartmentalization. The scientific method understands that. If you've got a bigger problem, break it down into smaller parts and work on those smaller parts and that will solve the larger problem. So fill your life with good habits. Good habits in your family, good habits in your work, good habits with your friends, good habits in developing yourself. Fill your life with good habits. That's the point. Let me know what you think.